I swear, every time I actually like a male sim of mine, this game tries to kill them. This is Rosalie Bastianich, she is the heir of generation 2 of my sims for Not So Berry Challenge. Rosalie is a young adult living in Windenburg, with her mother and our founder, Gwyneth Westwood, her half alien sister, Bella Westwood, and her cat, Speckles. Rosalie has the hot headed, romantic, and snob traits, per the Not So Berry Challenge rules, as well as the serial romantic aspiration. While we follow the chaotic journey of Rosalie Bastianich's life, we will continue continue to follow the life of her mother and our founder, Gwyneth Westwood, until her inevitable death, as well as the lives of their family, so now, it's time to say goodbye to the era of Gwyneth Westwood, and say hello to the era of Rosalie Bastianich. Last time we talked, our heir Rosalie celebrated her birthday and aged up to a young adult surrounded by her family, including her best friend turned boyfriend Finley Broke, while her mother and our founder, Gwyneth Westwood, proposed to her girlfriend Tanisha Stallings. After aging up, Rosalie spent some alone time with Finley watching a movie, and it was during their makeout sesh when Finley had to be rushed to the hospital, discovering that he was dying from a fatal illness. Luckily for us. Finley had surgery and was cured. But what wouldn't be cured anytime soon was the trauma Rosalie had experienced from the ordeal. Finley slept in her bed, drugged up from his hospital visit, and Rosalie was unable to do the same. So, she stayed up, thinking about their trip, and what did they be doing during it? And that brought her back to how just a few hours ago, as well as this morning, her and Finley almost went all the way. She didn't know how she felt about it. She needed to talk about it with someone so, she decided it was finally time for her to meet her godson, her good friend Courtney James's son. She hadn't seen Courtney since she'd given birth, they had a lot to talk about, but first, where was Rosalie's precious godson? Courtney brought Rosalie inside to meet her son, who she fucking named James James. There is nothing but elevator music going on in that pretty little head of hers. Oh, and James is literally Jesus, you should watch my other video for the full explanation. Anyways, Rosalie thought he was so adorable, he seemed so excited to meet her, she went ahead and and gave him a gift as well, a new Wabbit tablet, as much as she loves Courtney. She didn't see her as the flashcards and building blocks type of parent. He has to get his skills from somewhere. They hung out for a bit in the garage. Rosalie thought JJ was cute and enjoyed her time with him. And after spending all this time with him, she really appreciated the type of relationship they had, especially because Rosalie does not want any children of her own a lameo girl, that's too damn bad, because the rules state otherwise. Once Rosalie was done playing with JJ, she got straight to business with Courtney. She needs her advice about woohooing. Finley almost died tonight, and now more than ever, she wanted to share that special moment with him. Courtney had a baby, so she's obviously had woohoo, right, Miss Girl? Did you not hear what I just said about Courtney being the Virgin Mary? Courtney didn't answer that question, but she was there for her friend. She told our heir that if she's ready to woohoo with Finley, then she needs to stop overthinking it. She should be more excited than anything. She's just got to relax. It's a little scary at first, but it's with someone she loves. It's gonna be more special and fun than anything else. Wow, that was actually some decent advice. Rosalie was surprised. It'll subside once things are in motion. She's sure Finley would make her as comfortable as possible. <laughs> Rosalie honestly felt a lot better after her conversation with Courtney. She had to remind herself that she was dating the sweetest guy in the world. One that would try his best to make her feel good and would stop if she were uncomfortable. She said her goodbyes to JJ, thanked Courtney for everything, and Courtney wished her good luck on her trip. She wanted all the details when she gets back. And that had Rosalie thinking about what would be happening once they do get back college. She went ahead and checked the status on her college applications. She'd gotten into both Foxbury Institute and University of Brightchester. Of course, she was confident since the beginning that she'd get into both colleges. She's valedictorian, after all. But what she wasn't expecting is for her to be offered a distinguished degree from the University of Brightchester. Oh.
Oh dear, this was very exciting news for Rosalie, but there was one concern. She was supposed to be going to Foxbury Institute with Finley, he was offered a distinguished degree in biology. They were set on living in the co-ord dorms with one another, but she certainly can't pass up getting a distinguished degree of her own, and that meant that, instead of going to Foxbury Institute with Finley, she'd be going to Brightchester instead. How was she going to break this to her soulmate? He would probably be so heartbroken. She didn't want to ruin the excitement for their trip, so she decided she'd tell him about it once they get back. Plus, it would give her time to think, and the last thing Rosalie was doing today before leaving for her trip was clearing out her locker at Copperdale High School. It was a bittersweet feeling walking back onto her old campus. Part of her was relieved it was over, but the other part of her was sad to see this phase of her life go. She tried not to cry as she walked down the hallway and to her locker. The hallway where she got asked out by that asshole Levi Birch and witnessed Courtney James's water break. Such old memories, but they were memories nonetheless, ones that shaped her into the woman she was today and ones she would hold onto forever. She got back to her house in Windenburg, being greeted by the love of her life Finley Broke, who was packed up and ready to head to the airport. Gwyneth and Bella were gone for the day, so she left a note on the family bulletin board announcing her departure, gave Speckles a big treat and some pets goodbye, and was on her way with her boyfriend, Finley Broke, to their Tartosa getaway. Once the lovebirds landed in Tartosa and pulled up to their vacation home, our heir was in complete awe of what she was seeing. The villa Finley had picked out for the two of them was probably the most stunning home she'd ever seen. It was an old Italian-inspired home, littered with flowers and relics of the past. It had a pool, a barbecue, a gorgeous kitchen, and three bedrooms. Finley said he wanted a place with lots of bedrooms so she can have her own if she's not comfortable sleeping in the same bed with him again. This dude is so considerate, I'm literally on my knees. But after seeing this place, you bet she was going going to do that with him. Finley lit the fireplace as Rosalie took a lap around the entire property, soaking in the fact that this was her home for the next three days. Finley was super tired from the plane ride, so he decided to take a nap before they go out later. That was fine with Rosalie. She used the opportunity to spruce herself up, redo her makeup, put on a sexy outfit, and start baking Finley's birthday cake. And right when she began was when Rosalie got her first job offer ever. Tech guru, does she not know this is the not so berry challenge? Rosalie rarely cooks, so I hope that some of her estranged father Joseph Bastianich's cooking skills rubbed off on her. Looks like they didn't. That's a shame considering he's now dead as fuck. Rosalie finished baking Finley's cake and waited for him to wake up. Sitting pretty at the kitchen table with his lit birthday cake in front of her. When Finley processed what was right in front of him, it felt like he was in a movie. There she was, the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen, here in his arms. They were completely alone in this dimly lit kitchen, in the middle of one of the most romantic cities in the Sim Nation. It was mythic, he finally had his one true love all to himself, and it was his birthday, but that wasn't all, when the moment felt perfect, Rosalie held Finley's face, looked into his eyes, and said those for little words, I love you too, this was his best birthday ever, they were both over the moon in this very moment, they loved each other, and now, they both knew it, and to think, their vacation is just getting started, they danced and swayed and kissed in the kitchen for some time before Rosalie told Finley to hurry, that age up before she gets arrested, oh yeah, that's right, she's totally in her cougar era right now, oh yes, Ooh, woo, ha, him. Oh my god.
Finley's a man. Wicked Whims is looking exceptional, but none of that right now. The happy couple ate some birthday cake before Finley freshened up in the bathroom. The two were leaving for dinner. Rosalie's treat. They headed to a seafood restaurant smack dab on the beach. Luckily, it wasn't that busy, so Finley were able to get a table right away. And Finley thought it was hilarious that Rosalie thought she was paying for this dinner. She ain't allowed to pay for shit. Girl, I hear something purring. Well, she tried. Who is she to say no to the birthday boy? Rosalie was dying to tell Finley about her admission to Brightchester and being offered a distinguished degree, especially when Finley brought the topic up. He was so excited to start earning his distinguished biology degree, and it would be so fun since the two of them would be living in the same dorms, they'd always get to see each other. Rosalie was originally so excited for that too, she didn't have the heart to tell him, but it's not like the campuses were far away from each other. They can meet up between classes, or even stay over at each other's dorms some nights. For now, they would just focus on dinner. Rosalie ordered pasta and Finley ordered a steak, both of them pairing their meals with red wine. Finley, what the fuck? Rosalie, you too, why can't Sims do anything right? I have the steady seat mod and everything. I guess they wanted to sit at the bar, which again, didn't last long. Finley, you're too fine for this BS. They eventually sat in the same place long enough to finish their meals, discussing their upcoming plans for their trip in between bites. Before Finley paid the bill and they got on with the real fun, the Tartosa Beach Club, which is totally not on the same exact lot the restaurant was on. They walked inside and straight to the bar, Finley confidently ordering them Jack and Coke with no underage concerns. The two were getting very flirty as they waited for their drinks. Rosalie thought her man looked so good. She loved the cologne he was wearing and his young adult face and body looked good on him. Perhaps she just needed some liquid courage in her system. And tonight will be the night. Rosalie wanted to dance more than anything. And even though it was already two in the morning, she had no no plans on going back to the villa anytime soon. The whiskey was hitting her, she felt euphoric, whimsical, like nothing in the world mattered besides her and her one true love in this very moment. She was still breaking it down when the club's lights went off. Oh damn. She's really getting into it. Yes girl, break it down. Hello. What is this? Are you doing what I think you are doing? I forget you are grown now. Weren't you just children waiting at Willow Creek Hospital for Bella to be born? Wasn't Finley just appropriating black culture? All right, I think you have had enough. They got back to the villa when the sun was literally rising. They were all over each other by the time they reached their bedroom. They were so drunk and every touch felt amazing. Every kiss felt heavenly. Rosalie was ready to let herself go and let Finley take her. Was this finally the moment? Alimeo, of course it wasn't, because right as they were getting real comfortable with each other, Rosalie felt sick to her stomach and it wasn't because of Finley. Yeah, it doesn't look like they'd be woohooing for the first time just yet. 